Tara Jacobson, Marketing Artfully. So we're moving through our super simple Etsy SEO, and today we're going to be talking about another way to think of keywords, and this one is where. And this is not as super simple as yesterday's was, which was what. When you're looking at an item, you can factually think of what it is, um, but sometimes it can be harder to think of where somebody might be searching for it to use it. So I have some examples and then I have some um, thinking behind other things that might happen. So, okay. So this is Crowbar Design, super cute. And this one to me jumped out as a where. So where would you use a picture like this? I'm living in Florida right now. And I had all these kinds of mountainy images when I lived in Colorado, but then I moved to Florida and I have some of them in my one room, but they're no longer as appropriate. So where would somebody? Rocky Mountain. Um, I think California has some mountains. I know Appalachia has some mountains. I know. So you would want to think about what areas people would want to do this for. So say these um peaks had snow on them maybe it's a gift for mountain climbers that kind of thing okay these crafty things are definitely log cabin right um if you have a lake cabin log cabin anything like that those would fit in very well okay this one arizona right those swaro I live in Florida. I always say palm trees. So our cactuses, um, this would be on a farm or a ranch or a, you know, these guys really could go with the, um, the where. Oh, this clowns to the left of me, jokers to the right. That could be for a bar or a, um, uh, I'm trying to think, tavern, bar. Any of those keywords would look really good. Okay, potting shed, herbs, this is for a greenhouse, this is for a garden shed, she shed, oh my gosh, she sheds are so hot right now. So those are all fun things, western, right, stage coast, western. So those are all fun things that you could think about, like geographically, where is it going to be? Now, this one jumped out at me because my daughter goes to festivals and all kinds of things. So I'm always looking for something for her to be able to wear to a festival, to a rock concert. Well, they don't call them rock concerts, to a Post Malone concert. Um, but those are the kinds of things, if you're going to do those festivals, um, if you have something that would be appropriate for Burning Man, if you had, you know, any of those. You could also go with theater, right? If you had a cute shrug you're selling, it could be to go to the theater. It could be going to some kind of cultural event that your items might match up with. Okay, here's back in my land of Florida again. So now you have people that are going to the beach. So if we're doing our little things across the top, we have beach towel, beach decor, beach bag, beach signs, beach wall art, so all of this. But then you need to think about, you know, tropical beach and sand and surf and sun and all those things. So when you start thinking about where somebody might be using it, then you're going to be able to get more of a ideas for your um, products and how to sell them. Okay. Where? School. Going back to school. That's coming up here not too long. So back to school. We have all kinds of cute stuff for this. We have first day of school chalkboards. We have stuff for teachers. We have all of that. And that is, oh, backpacks are huge if you have kids going back to school, pencils, pencil holders, um, wear, college, college fraternity, dorm room, um, all of that. And as you start thinking about this, you want to start with like kind of brainstorming in your head everything that could be associated with that. Because unfortunately, there's not going to be a great... Um, you know, product that could do it. Let's do answer the public. This is a good one. 
that might help you brainstorm some ideas. So let's see what, what it happens. What this does is it kind of gets associated things. So back to school. Okay. And these are all questions that people are asking in relation to back to the school. So I'm going to put this in my little, remember to put this in your notes. Okay. And it's thinking. And it's not its fault. It's because I'm making a video. It always takes a little bit longer. Okay, so we have lots of things. Back to school theme, back to school offer, back to school shopping, back to school sales close, day meeting, laptop, prepare to go back to school, backpacks. Yeah, see, but we're not getting, so they do that too. What, which, will, where, when, why. Um, but for that, we're not taking back to school and then being able to extrapolate college and all of that. That's something that as a human being, it you really do need to get good at. And you can do, uh, I do all these kinds of things with my friend. Um, and we brainstorm stuff all the time. What do you feel like it's online? Sorry about that. My whole world goes nuts when I get a phone call. All right. So next is back to more interesting things. So I thought this was a super interesting search I did. So I was doing small office, right? So we have small office and ideas came up from Etsy, right? Small office ideas. Now there are only 2,600 results, but I'm honest to God, none of these are small office ideas. Now that is, um, super interesting to me. Like if you're selling storage solutions, if you're selling something that could be good for that, and the only way you're going to find out what Etsy is recommending is to start these searches in Etsy, right? Because those are going to be the drop, drop down. So let's do small office again. So small office decor, small office ideas, furniture, desk, you know, um, now, the, the additional thing is actually uh, search volumes for Google, not search volumes for Etsy. And so I did um, look at Marmalade for the small office ideas in Marmalade, and the searches are very low for that, right? You're not going to be getting a million searches, but I feel like, you know, if you can find some really cool keyword solutions, things like that, let's see what happens in Google, small office ideas, Etsy, right? Let's see what comes up. Nothing, right? Nothing. Now, home office ideas, I would then use home office ideas. Office ideas, office wall decor, small desk. Wooden writing desks, that would make sense. Floral desk chairs, girly office, feminine. So now, the reason why I want you to start thinking about this is not just so that you can find that one keyword for where, but so that you can go, oh, cute, girly, feminine. You know, then all of a sudden, psh, all these ideas start coming and you can start noting them down for your business. Okay, now this is my last one I wanted to do. So wedding reception, but I got to do it in Etsy. Hang on one second, Etsy. Okay, so wedding receptions, decoration signs, invitation, desks, screams, decor, thank you. Ideas, there's ideas again. Hmm, I wonder if that's cool. I almost... If I sold wedding reception games, like if I was a, if I was a, um, digital download seller and I sold wedding reception games, I would totally make a listing with those as variations and put wedding reception ideas and Mac the heck out of that. Cause let's see. So wedding reception ideas have 
4,600, which seems like a lot, but watch wedding reception. 97,000, right? So to me, that's just, that's just like an open invitation. All these ideas, I want to start thinking about that, but where is a wedding reception, right? So you've got all your shoes for the wedding girls. You've got signs. You've got sign-in sheets. You've got napkins. You've got glasses. You've got, right? So you may be selling wedding reception or wedding invitations. You may want to add some of these things as a market research so that they get to your shop. Like marble paper plates. How fun is that that that's in wedding receptions? Um, it just seems so appropriate. So hopefully that helps. This is um, where are people going to be using your products? We'll be looking at when next, I believe. Uh, so keep your peepers open. If you like this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up. And if you like videos about Etsy um, or marketing in general or Pinterest, make sure to hit the um, subscribe button and the bell so that you get notified when I have new videos. Tara Jacobson, Marketing Artfully.